This video is for entertainment and educational purposes only. Hello beautiful people, this was my first trip to Dubai. I'm offering my experience with uh, microdosing of Dutasteride, a DHT inhibitor for the combating the hair loss. Also, swimming in the sea is the best energy expenditure program. It's a great thermogenic stimulus. It would uh, melt your body fat away. And yes, I didn't do any form of cardio except swimming in the sea and occasional strolling along. As deuterosteride is available over the counter in the pharmacies, I decided to run this experiment again. This is my crib where I stayed frequently. It's um, convenient, it's right on the beach. You can rarely find a hotel right on the beach. Transportation, uh, you would need a car. Either you rent it or you can call a taxi. Renting will come cheaper. And the roads are good. And the renting places are abundant, so you can find to your taste, and the prices are reasonable. So, my TRT testosterone replacement therapy was at about 100 to 150 T prop propionate per week, and I ran it for two months on, two months off basis. Ah, the infamous Burj Khalifa the only purpose of which to entertain your eyes and so as you may know i have been battling the hair loss for a couple years two three years and i tried um, to test the right microdosing i will explain the terms at the end of the video or in the description the thing is some people get paradoxical results. Uh, first of all, not everyone is a responder, and other people get uh, quite the opposite. An increase in hair loss after taking deuterosteride. I believe this is due to interaction and interplay between uh, DHT synthesis inhibitors such as deuterosteride, androgen receptors, and testosterone. So later on, I work out around this issue, and I will be reporting on that uh, later on. But so far, I did try microdosing. So I pierced the pill, and there's oily substance in there, and I would drop on some food pieces, and I would consume food pieces day by day. So consuming one drop of the deuterosteride essential, the result no response the hair loss seemed to have accelerated and this was after weeks of adaptation water was soft as i believe it was supplied from desalination factories and uh, i had a balanced diet with all macronutrients and vitamins i believe my athletic uh, level has increased uh, due to more testosterone present in the system as due to stride blocked the conversion from T, so less T is destroyed and um, THT is not as anabolic or not anabolic at all to be precise as testosterone. My exercise program was as usual 15 20 minutes top in the gym, in hotels gym, and um, that would be two three times a week. I should mention that uh, I have a special uh, gift, so to say. I performed a self-experiment some long time ago, and uh, which resulted in increased capacity for muscle growth, uh, which is permanent, and I've been observing the, the effects because it's rather unusual and nobody done it on humans right so here i'm working on the promenade and just random people just uh, a group of guys and they they muscular and they were giving me compliments like, my dream is to be like you unbelievable compliment they were saying like uh, 
I, I just, my dream is to be like you. Right, so this is the picture of my hair loss. You can see the receding hairline is really sad in me. My favorite snack in the evening, and it costs five bucks. And my favorite cafes. So you, people normally walk along the promenade in the evening. This is when it's refreshing. They do have public transport, uh, sort of uh, underground or metro, and it can take you places. Uh, it's air conditioned. The bus stops air conditioned. Um, I never knew anyone who took a bus to anywhere. Right. Why I decided to stay away from the DHT synthesis inhibitors such as uh, deuterosteride and finasteride. Both of them cause uh, heart problems such as arrhythmia, tachycardia, heart palpitation and so on. And in my case, in combination with minoxidil, and that resulted in me visiting accident and emergency with heart problems. I found that uh, deuterosteride is less taxing on the heart. I believe it's the fluctuation that is the most damaging. I believe that uh, DHT plays a role in heart rhythm regulation, which is uh, not as elucidated as it should have been. It's not even a warning sign as it should have been. You can find in small print that it may cause some heart regulation, but it took me some time to discover it. Deuterosteride is much longer acting, as I mentioned. Half life of the drug is around four to five weeks, versus uh, finasteride is about um, four to seven hours. Uh, so I believe the fluctuation that uh, causes the fluctuation in the heart rhythm, and there are other routes of administration such as uh, topical and the other substitutes which I will be elucidating in due course in my videos. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.